Yeah, so as I said before, this is the design I made today, my book, Couple Design. You can see it in blue and pink for women and men. We have this one as a new one. Yeah, like I said, every day new design. You see the, the f my favorite one. I like this one too. It's 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 poetry here. Uh, I like freedom. This one, and my favorite is the fox, the dream catcher. This one is my favorite, and this one is also nice. Like as you you can see the the words like. Yeah, uh, we have a bunch of design. You may like it. So make sure to check the store to purchase something from here as a support for us guys. Just. It's not gonna take much of you you're gonna choose just one of them guys make click on it puff and buy that's that's the easy step you choose we have different color you may you choose the color and you just click we have different as you can see and different tie as your size as you see you just click add it to cart and buy it and support us for making more reaction guys thank you and let's go to the video you know the well, see, you, I, I accept what you just said but you said money comes in wage granted we have to invest it's taken where's some of the places you're investing yeah you actually, said, I I see this is what this is what this only fan economy is done it's let women with really low functioning knowledge no high value or high Excuse ticket skills me. that's not low functioning knowledge uh well, no, let's talk. Not, okay. Every time I've asked you, I've asked you any question about business and you've asked me a question instead of answering it. And I said, what, and if it's not you, eat the meat, spit out the bones. But what OnlyFans has done is it's created a bubble economy. Women are coming, rushing to OnlyFans thinking that it's the new dot com, the new real estate, and they're realizing that there is no sustainable way to pro project this out for over five years. Now, you don't know that knowledge, but I do. Fez has been be measured as possible, be as measured as possible. And what are we getting? We're getting anger, we don't know, you don't know. What I do know, what I do know, what I do know, what I do, what I do know, what I do know is event of all the business people on this platform, the people who are going to have a lot of success are not you. Men have no place at all. They have women to enter. No, you didn't. I'm gonna the platform you are on is built by men. I'm going to say, one, no, me, I'm this is what, so, this is what happened with, with only a second right. entity. Sorry, guys. So you see how she couldn't handle the truth, guys. The, the, uh, Kevin was, he was not even giving her like, um, a vibe that, uh, look, what you doing is fucking wrong shit garbage no he was just giving her advice he was giving her advice and she get mad about it she couldn't even listen to the reality of what he was saying look what i noticed is that he was giving her uh, an advice of that it's not an only fine it's an easy way as i said it in my other, a lot of videos i did before only fine it's an easy way for every individual it doesn't matter a man okay it's favorable for a woman but it doesn't matter for a man and a woman they both can do it and it's the easy way but it's the haram way as a muslim for me it's a haram way so i will not speak about that side the advice that was about it is that okay it's a long it's not a long term you can do it uh, how much your thing gonna stay in place more than five years six ten okay but people are gonna get bored of you that's okay to be honest with you that's the industry people like to see new things you know so they will not stay with you f more than even one year or two years they're not gonna stay with you more than you because people like to see new things that's the industry of what that you are in what they are, and and the people who's paying you are most of them you know, I would not speak about them, but they are most of them men, but you know how they are. Anyway, so 
He was giving her an advice, probably uh, like uh, if you uh, if you make money, uh, if you are making like a five k, ten k, I don't know how much, twenty k a month, just invest it, put it in something, place else, invest it, and let it regenerate. And then after you finish, after you're not going to be relevant in your life, and you're going to have at least that amount of money, and you're going to understand it and have work with it. But now people they say, oh, okay, this is work. I would do it one hundred percent. But you're not going to last for it for five more, five ten years. You're not going to do it. Because people like new things, they will not keep up with you. That's what they don't understand. Um, and and when women can't handle it, they leave. They don't. <laughs> this is the point. You, this is about business. Business isn't offensive, but when people in their lack of knowledge gets exposed, they get offended. They call themselves experts and business owners and everything else. You're sh online strippers. But make a little bit of money. Congratulations. I'm good with escorts. I'm good with strippers. But when someone like Hafiz or myself tries to sit down and talk to you about your level of ignorance, you're offended. Your ignorance is what offends you. And it's offensive to me that you're going to try to make this about men and sexism. This is what the world has done. It's got little pampered princesses who can get online, make some money, and think that they're on the same level as men who built this world, and they are not. That's what you just saw them leave because they can't go get onto Wall Street, Main Street, anywhere, into a bank, into anybody's business to be taken seriously with their so-called business plan or their go-to-market strategy. Do you want to know why you have such a... To admit it, but I do. Like, I'm half a man. I'm just a pretty girl. And I don't think that I should have to accept less in life. Men don't care about fair. We conquer. It's oh, winners and I, losers. I, I saw this one. I, 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 not all right? of it, but I saw half a man. I didn't know that only men were part of conquering. Well, name me, name me some great female warriors that have dominated the planet. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm learning new education. I would say that, uh, what he said, okay, the, the men are the conquerors, obviously this one, but I was like saying my history in Algerian history, uh, dominant of the world, no, but being part of of the resistance yes so in algeria we had lella fatima Sumer. she was a woman she was a bar in the kabilian and she lead the resistance she also lead she was a powerful woman so uh, dominant the whole world no but lella fatima Sumer, we we, I, we in algeria we give her credit she was part of the resistance but most of it uh, all of it men except this name lella fatima Sumer. she was part so but uh, to conquer no I, I don't think uh, as I as or the whole uh, history that I learned in high school or middle school, I don't think there is a woman as a conqueror. I don't think so. Yeah, Being part yes, but conquer. as a conqueror, no. no. I, I mean, that's what you're telling me, right? No, well, see what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to switch that. I, I'm asking about fairness. And I said about fairness. Why is fairness so important? You said because you're half a man. Because if you expect something of me, I should be allowed to expect the same of you. And if you can't offer me that, you don't deserve to be in my life. But that has nothing to do with fairness. It has everything to do with fairness. No, fairness means you get an opportunity. Fairness doesn't mean you get an outcome. Oh my God. Just like, you know what? How many times you've gotten to a club into VIP for free when some ugly chicks had to pay full price? Is that my fault? Oh. No, no, no. I've asked how many times it happened before you go down that path. I mean, it, plenty of times in Miami. Exactly, but that's not fair, is it? Well, please don't forget I'm not from here. But so. that's not the point, ma'am. That's not fair, is it? I also don't care about those things. But, oh, so you only care about fairness when it when it doesn't benefit you. I just don't go to clubs that often. But that's not the point. I asked you, how many times you've gone to a club where you got in and free where ugly chicks or less attractive chicks had to pay? And you know that's happened. You didn't say, I'm still, excuse me, sir. Uh, even though I'm attractive, I demand that you charge me full price. That's fair, right? Okay, so because he just I in into places and get that fair, food, that means that I should is get fair. Before we go, that I'll answer your question if you at least right. answer mine. Is that fair? Life isn't fair. Well, but if that's the case, you accept it in the sexual marketplace too. It doesn't mean I have to accept other people's bullshit. Nope. Well, see, the thing is, ma'am, see what you've proven, like many feminists and many women, you're okay with the double standards that benefit you. But the ones you don't like, you just throw at the wind, you use sign language, shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right to deflect and dismiss guys who are normally intimidated by this thing. I'm not. I'm just challenging your position. You're okay with it not being fair when it benefits you. Name me five great female inventors or builders. Madam Curie. Five inventors or builders. That's a really great question. That really is.
I'm like, saying that you came at me with the same line. I've had to put up with 31 years old and deal with men's bullshit. You're living in a first world I, country. I, You're I, in Miami, one of the most posh places on the planet, complaining about double standards that you participate in. The nerve. I, corrected you that I don't go to clubs. So you're okay, done. I just gave an example. You've right. been to clubs. I didn't say you continue to go. That's not the point now, is it? But see, that's another way of you trying to get me online and then correcting me because I'm a dumb man. I get the point. No, you're, I mean, you're very rude and very aggressive. No, I'm very direct. And when you were doing this to the men, you had no problem showing your dick. No, I know that you don't give every man a chance is what I do know. You don't. Well, actually, you don't know that at all. Okay, you give. Okay, are you saying that you are the one female on the planet that will give every man who wanted you a shot? No, I am not. Okay, then I can assume that that was correct. Well, Let's well, move on. Right. The issue is that men are not the ones complaining about they the state of relationships and dating as much as women are. Women wanted freedom of choice. Women wanted to be able to have sex with who they wanted to, marry who they want to, love who they want to, work where they want to, not work where they want to, go every place that men could go. You are the most free, most liberated group of women that ever existed on the human history, and yet you're the most unhappy. One in four out of you on some sort of psych meds. Women are, the marital rate is dropping with modern women. What else do you want men to do? We've civilized the world in general. We don't even have wars. You can do whatever you want to. And you're still not happy with the world that men built. And a guy who wants to be married, marriage minded, your kind of guy. How long do you think for meeting him on day one, do you think it should take before you're engaged? Um, I would say a year. And how long for being engaged before you marry? Uh, I wouldn't want it to be that long. So, you know what I noticed? This is the thing that you're dealing with it in the West. It, it's not uh, there is no nothing like this in uh, where, where I came from, like uh, North Africa, Africa, especially in. I'm not from the Middle East. I'm, I'm Arab, but from North Africa, so it make me an Arab African. So uh, we don't have this kind of uh, dealing with kind of things like this and. All these things that he's speaking about is not really familiar in my country. So, on both of, bunch of them are they speaking about it's haram. I know this, uh, they are doing them because that's what they learn from the movies and the romance things they see in the movies. And society are, is winning. Uh, but in the same time, we have to understand that as an Algerian country, we are we are a Muslim country, and we, we, it's probably probably thirty. 25% are doing what they see in movies, having a relationship, and we engage in a relationship before marriage and stuff like this. But most of it, they are clean. And so that's not a big issue we have, in the, especially in Algeria. Maybe like two years. Two years of engagement? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Two years of engagement? Um, yeah, actually, yeah, two years. Okay, so a year before you engage, two years engaged. Mm -hmm. Bye, dog, dialogue. Okay. You're not a traditional woman. Are you a virgin? No. Okay, you're then you're traditional. Okay, the, the, the. I know that was a going to say because if you are, if the women doesn't understand when they say we are traditional, you, you have to understand to be traditional like they were before, you need to be a virgin first. No man touched you. That's what it means, traditional woman. And then we go from there, like, you you do the things that a woman is supposed to do. And we go from there. But in the beginning, you need to be a virgin to be traditional. No woman. And I'm saying this, man. You women want traditional outcomes. Hmm. Weddings, white dresses. Huh? And you're schizophrenic, psychotic, non-virgins. And there is no... There is no harm about wanting a big wedding, a white dress, the, all the things that you're dreaming about. But you also need to say, like, you cannot say I'm traditional if you're not a virgin. You still can dream what you have in a white dress, everything else, but you cannot say I'm traditional. You're not. It's just you're not. You need to be realistic to yourself, not to us or to other what you see. You need to be realistic just to yourself. Look to yourself in the mirror and say the thing that you... Be real to you. And build the confidence over issues. that. Be real and have confidence at mm. the same time. And that's powerful. 
interesting. So but what's the but the first thing I asked you <laughs> what the marriage is about? You said companionship. Okay. That's oh yeah, good. like partnership. There's no part. You can't make this shit up. What is it? I mean, I would love to build an empire with the man I'm with. Build an empire, lady. You cut hair for a living. Yeah. I mean, I empire, have. I have empire, empire. What? You couldn't. Make I have other job. goals like real estate and. Oh Jesus. She said it. It's making real fun. Estate, right? Why? Real estate. She's the she's the she's the stylist, the, the hair the stylist with the real estate. He's, 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 he's trolling. He's trolling. An empire, yeah. really? Is it worth getting married and having two children if you gotta work full time like you do now? For the rest of your life. You gotta work just as hard as you're working now. You can't take a break. You gotta you gotta work. Cause you got two miles to feed. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? I feel like I feel like that would be a little bit of a struggle. He was just trolling about uh, that. You just said you wanted to be there. I would want to be there for my kids. She said it. Yeah, you said that yeah. want to be an empire. Women today want to be luxury married or single. You guys are so fucking lazy. Like I said, this isn't a black thing. You know, it has nothing to do with this kind of... The majority not like that. Maybe this one is the only one who's speaking to them. And this is only famous in the West, not... Uh, or in the USA. It's not famous in other regions. You don't see other regions like this. Most of them are traditional. And most of them, they're really supportive. So this is the kind of thing you see it in the West. And even if you go to Eastern Europe who you can see them still in eastern europe they are supportive they are traditional women and maybe it's not traditional like uh, virgin stuff like this but most of them are also uh, most of them are also virgin and the most of them are supportive and they stick by you uh, you go to the the the, the, the muslim country is the same as traditional the muslim country traditional uh who who's still religious by the way we, 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 we put it like this who's still religious by following christianity or judaism or uh, islam it's like they still religious you can find their women traditional who really follow uh, religious so you can find them traditional but in the same time uh, he was just trolling her by building empire but he's he's making a majority of all women like that but that's uh, it's a little bit not true though it's a little bit not true uh, most of them are not not what we see in usa in usa maybe it's not like that but the other region you go other country you're gonna find women supportive traditional and stuff like this folks this is a modern thing you heard it i put the question you gotta work like you do today and you're willing to do that but in order to enhance your life with a, a husband mm -hmm. a mate someone to chronicle and walk through life with you and you would get two children that is not enough of a benefit you didn't hear her say well yeah i'm going to have to work anyway right okay the, la the last one kids? is fresh and fit sure. we're going to see what's no going on. i get a husband and kids and adjust it the difference is the women are not bringing in women in mass are oh, bringing this back. Ask them what you want, you get war and peace. Ask you what you bring to the table, you can't write it on the back of a stamp. You get access to my body, which is not virgin, which is not even low miles, which you've given to somebody before. And in some cases, you've even shared your womb. You're not even really feminine like women used to be. You don't even have the domestic skills, the home skills. So is it a, I would, so I would submit today that modern women are asking for an unfair deal from modern men. So we should go back to 1950 and make it more fair? Well, uh, I tell you what, what's happening is the men have accepted this and they're deciding to, I am neither not going to play this game because I cannot earn what these guys around you are earning. And they're just opting to walk away. And the men who are earning that have an overwhelming amount of options. They have a plethora of options. Men in the top 10%, top 5%, I'm 51 years old and I can pick whatever I want. Oh, it's over. It's finished. Yeah, that was Kevin Samuel. And he was top 10 savage moment. He was really savage on this one. If you have another um, video of him because uh, you didn't give me any links, so I did any reaction I could find. And that's what I find. If you have uh, links about, I would I'd be happy to do them because... 
yeah, the guy is really intellectual and he know how to speak uh, but to be honest, he wasn't that savage. He was much more calmly. He speak calmly and he delivers his ma- message in a different way, calmly. And even if he trigger a lot of them, so but it's still respectfully and he doesn't go that much hard. Yeah, so that was the reaction for today, guys. I hope you enjoy it and send me more. I will do more and I will try to find the time to do all the reactions that you suggested, guys. If you want to see me do this fully, and uh, not and have time only to do reaction and your suggestion specifically make sure to purchase and help us to do this as a full time so purchase something from the store as i will show you i will drop the video what we have in the store and i'm making design every day every day i'm making new design so and if you have a design in mind just send it to me i will uh, recreate it and i will put it in the design and i will send it to you on instagram